So this is the reading for the 21st, Monday the 21st and forward, 21st of September 2020. So let's see what we're getting this week for you guys. Good luck. Let's hope for a positive reading, hey? So in your past energy, we have money, 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 money. <laughs> Okay, so this is uh, some sort of news about a windfall, uh, possibly a payout, possibly an inheritance. Maybe you sold something recently. Uh, it does look like if you were wanting, let's say, 9000 or 90000 it's actually more closer to 8000 or 80000 Or once you sort out something, you've got 80000 left. But... Yeah, good going, guys. Um, now, with medical circumstances, this could be news about a surgery that you've been waiting on. It's successful. When I see all of this, that looks like a success, um, successful journey. So that's really nice news there. Now, that's what you're bringing in from the past. Now, what I'm going to do is a little bit different this time. It's going to be quick reading, but I'm going to read this as past, present, future possibilities and then three tarot cards to place on top but before I do that I'm going to read this as past present and future so we're going to do it three uh, two ways just to give it a little bit more information um, and for those of you with pregnancy and everything that would be a cesarean birth all the happy celebrations and you're surprised at the outcome so this is like a, a nice shock a nice shock as far as the pregnancy and the baby goes and everything like that um, that's Maybe you were thinking you were having a boy and you ended up having a girl or vice versa. So, yeah, or maybe it was twins and you didn't even know. But, yeah, that's a nice event there. Um, it's also a financial stability type cards coming in. Now, during the week 21st and on, we have a bit of stress and strain going on here. we got double fives. Now, double fives can be where somebody's not speaking up or someone's angry or someone's frustrated. Um, and it's all about movement. It's like where you want to change jobs or you want to talk to somebody and they're not listening. Um, this is like frustration for you Capricorn people out there. Now, going along the lines of the whole medical type thing, this would be the pelvic area or the feet, the knees, the hips, the legs, anything to do with movement. And it can represent speech as well, um, where there's some sort of impediment with speech. Something doesn't work properly or someone just can't talk or um, they've got slurred, slurred words or something like that. So there is a possibility there's some sort of medical thing which was working, but it looks like there's a bit of a hiccup here in the middle. Um, with work, like I said, this looks like a payout. So maybe you've left a job, you've got a bit of a payout here. You're not sure how to make this money last. I would tell you to invest the money. Um, don't spend all the money that you've got left and, and wait for the rainy day because it looks like you're going to be in a bit of a struggle trying to get another job. Um, also, this can be to do with male children, um, male siblings. Um, there's a lot of male energy here. Someone might not be telling the whole truth about a situation. Um, in relationships, I'm not really seeing relationships at this point, but this would be showing a strained relationship. This can be a family member. There's three people involved in the situation. There's arguments and disagreements going on here. So that's a little bit unfortunate what's coming in to the mix. Okay, we do have a medical type thing showing up here again. So there's something to do with a medical issue that you're worried about. Um, you need to speak up. You need to find out the truth about the whole thing, about what's going on. Uh, this would be the doctor trying to balance out the situation, trying to get everything back on track. Um, you're committed to this journey. So you may have had some sort of surgery for your own health, your own good. This is where you, you can't handle it. You, you sort of, you can't move. You can't get back into shape as quickly as you'd want to do. This is telling me you need to slow it, slow it down because it will turn around. Um, and then this is you committed to your journey and you're plodding through things. Um, with relationships, the only relationship card we've got here is someone committed to each other. So after this fights and, and a third person possibly being removed from the mix, Capricorn, um, yeah, then things get back on target. This would be a fire sign energy we got over here. We've got a lot of male energy in this reading at the moment, so it might be a same-sex relationship that I'm looking at as well. So it might be a Capricorn and a fire sign um, that's in the mix here. 
So yeah, this is for Capcom. So looking at it the other way, in the past it's showing surgery, the pelvic area or the body organs and your structure being lost, not knowing what to do next. We do have a female energy coming through on this side and there's also someone from the other side trying to come through. Maybe it's a, a big birthday celebration coming up. They're letting you know they're around. Something to do with five. They may have had an, a car accident. They may have had some sort of injury and they ended up dying from it. Um, it's male energy, but we do have female energy sitting here as well. They're just trying to let you know that they're around. Um, and it may be an anniversary or a birthday of some importance that's coming up. Now, in the mix of next week, it's showing about wanting to spend all this money, but you just feel like you're getting nowhere fast, but you, you've got to keep going. This is being committed to something. So it's, it's a celebration of people gathered together. Um, maybe one person's a bit out of sorts and they need to be sorted out in this mix. You've got shocking news coming through. This is where you're surprised. So you're surprised about money and everything. It's it's a, it's a good thing there, but then you're surprised about something else to do with maybe someone lied about something. I do feel a financial situation here. So maybe it was a job you thought you had and somebody came in underneath you and took the job from you. Uh, maybe it's movement where you want to move, you want to get in the car, you want to go, but you just can't at the moment. So there's delays, delays, delays showing next week. So if you've already been waiting, there's more waiting going on. So let's just have a look at past with the tarot. Yeah, we got a job offer here, but this is looking like either you don't want it or it's not exactly 100% to what you thought it was going to be. Yeah, definite job offer. Yeah, we've got the double jacks, two pages. So to me, that's double jacks. It's, something's just taking a hell of a long time and you're, you're over it. You're, you're getting frustrated with things. Oh, then we got the, the two kings here. Yeah, this is a business decision, guys. This is something to do with so many males here. So this might be a job where if you're a female watching this, you might work with all these different characters. So we have air signs, we have earth signs, we have water signs. We have the whole lot, fire, air, earth and water. So we got the whole big kit and caboodle here. I just feel like somebody now... If you are a woman watching this, it doesn't have to be a woman, but if you are a female watching this, this may be a sexual offer that is not wanted. This may be someone trying to put the hard word on you, or it might be you trying to get involved with someone and they're just sort of like, no, this is not the right way to go about things. We do have the father figure sitting down here, very responsible male. So there's some sort of journey you want to go on. Um... Yeah, there's a journey you want to go on, but delay, delay. So there's a period of five. So maybe the 5th of October, maybe in five weeks' time, five months' time, there's something moving forward. With the medical matter, it looks like there's a bit of a hiccup there. There might be a bit of pain, a bit of something that, like, oh, I can't handle that, and it's stepping up a notch. But then you need to get back. To, it's like you've lost your structure. If you've been told not to eat, I don't know, greens at the moment, or you've been told not to drink milk at the moment, um, it looks like you might have slipped off the rails a little bit and you need to pull things back in. Anyway, that's all I've got for Capricorn. I hope that helped. Welcome, my Aquarian people. Uh, let's hope and pray that this reading for September the 21st, Monday the 21st and forward, is a lot more brighter than your last reading for this week that we're in right now, the 14th and forward. Um, yeah, let's just hope that you are coming into the light because it, I remember your reading because you were the only star sign that had every single black card except for you had the Ace of Hearts down here. That was your ideas and your new beginnings, but you were in a thick cloud of crap, basically. So let's, good luck, Aquarians. Let's see what's coming through. Wow, nice cards. This is talking the truth. This is something to do with making up with someone. Um, it could be just a conversation. Uh, it's all about you wanting happiness. So what you're bringing forward from the harder week that you had from the 14th on, at the 21st, it's sort of like whatever happiness that you've um, found, you're bringing about a truth but just be careful that you're structuring it in the right way because this can show a lack of structure um, and a lack of learning a lesson from the past. So if to have your happiness involves something that is 
I don't know, done in the wrong way because this can represent someone that's hurting. This can represent, this is female energy and male energy you've got here in the reading. Um, it can represent someone that's had um, a fair whack of pain brought upon them and it might actually be you that you've been feeling like withdrawing, shutting the doors, um, not talking to anyone or someone's doing that to you. Um, you. You are seeking happiness. You're seeking to make amends basically. You want to make up and um, say let's put that behind us and let's move forward but I, I don't know if you're going to move forward with that particular person. It might just be an apology from them, an apology from you or it might be a decision to let it go because the five can be about letting go and moving into a new direction financially and with work it's showing that you're a little bit more settled with the work um, and you know that the money is going to be worth it so you're plodding along at something just remember again keep your structure in place and whatever you've learned along the way depending on how old you are right now it doesn't matter um, just you use your lessons from the past don't get yourself involved in something it can be um, a bit of conflict with a female as well that's over here some truth causes a conflict with another female what else have you got in the middle of the week the energy around the week you have an idea to do something new you want everything off the ground this is you very busy moving forward um, there might even be movement from a job it might be where you've tried to put all your efforts in and you're looking for something else um, again don't be irresponsible with your actions now this could be about a parenting issue it could be a family issue um, there's just something I feel like there's a bit of anger here around you Aquarian people or angry angry or disappointed in someone um, it's not really showing me who uh, we do have an earth sign here so it could be an earth sign that you're dealing with doesn't don't worry if it's male or female because you've got all the energies here you've got male and female energy sitting in the reading you've got an idea to change something there's something you want to start again okay okay Okay, now you've got another energy here. This is someone sharp and unexpected, or it could be you. Um, it can be a fire sign, doesn't have to be, and that can be a busy, friendly person. Um, this is more of a sharp tongue type person, or it could be you're deciding to talk about something. Again, we've got the black energy sitting here in the reading. Now, this can be where you're stress and strain and getting nowhere fast, and it's very frustrating. This is overload again. Um, now this here is where you're feeling like putting the walls up and walking away from something but it's also because it's a nine it's like you've tried this is where you've tried something so let's say you've gone into a new job you're putting all your efforts in it just looks like it's getting too much um, if this is to do with a friend a friendship a relationship of some sort this is where you come together, you try and you try, maybe you're trying to communicate with this person and it just feels like there's something you need to learn or they need to learn at the moment. There's something that's not right there. This is where there's a blockage. So, And then you have an idea to do something a different way. Um, the two women sitting together, that can be where they're making plans because we do have a nine and we do have a baby boy up here. So it may be something to do with a baby boy. That someone's pregnant and there's a baby boy there. But this can be a new start as well, not just making up with someone from the past, but it's sort of like righting a wrong. But just make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. Uh, again, I'm seeing this like anger and frustration and impulsive behaviour to blurt something out or, or do something and it's, it could be a battle here this could be where you're just angry and you're thinking that's it I'm done it also can be where who's rescuing who type situation as well um, down here like I said this is a lot of work and stress and strain with health related matters there's something that you might need to get on on board with this would be a female doctor and there's something that needs sorting out down here um, it looks like you're trying to do it yourself, but it needs professional help by the looks of it. Uh, the only other thing I'm seeing here is you may want a new start somewhere, a new job, and you may be wanting to return to something as well. And that's why this card's sitting here about making up or trying something new. But this is showing that that's, that's not a good plan. That's showing that's the wrong direction for you Aquarian people. But on a relationship and love type thing, it just looks like you're just going to be really, really busy the, the, this next week. 
Um, you are frustrated with things though. And just looking at it the way I did the other star sign, if this is the past, this is the current energy and this is a future sort of outcome, like I said, you're banding together with some other woman, but there may be an argument between you and another female. And I'm not sure which one's going to win this argument, but there's some sort of disagreement or argument. There's some sort of lesson that needs to be learned either on your part or their part. Now, it doesn't have to be females, but I'm feeling this is a female energy over here. The bulk of the matter is new beginnings and that that you're wanting to do but it's a lot of hard work and I don't know if you can do it this might be where you're like I just I need a break I, I just need a break from something this can be a relationship this is like the engagement ring where two people they have a talk they decide to put the ring on the finger or not an actual ring but they decide to cement some sort of relationship with each other but it's a lot of hard work to keep it going um whether it's worth it or not, I don't know. We'll have to see as the weeks turn out. But at least your cards aren't all black this time. This is showing about the blackness that you had in the last reading. Um, this is like frustrations and anger. And this is just an overload where you've had enough. You may have lost some money. This is um, where you've invested money and you've lost money. Or it may be where someone's telling you lies as well. Um, you do have an energy of a female energy coming in from the other side. She would have had something wrong in her head. She possibly had cancer as well. And something to do with October 10 or 20 means something to her. She's trying to get a message through to you that she's around. Um, yeah, just be careful which way you're going with things. It's like you get off to a good start next uh, on the 21st. It's like you've got this energy's all restored and you. I'm going to go and talk to this person. I'm going to make things right. Um, and then there's some sort of anger or frustration going on here and you're just like, oh, now what? And then you go back to the planning board and then it's all like too much. This can be uh, frustration turning into jealousy as well or someone's jealous of you. It can be where someone's watching everything that you do as well or you're watching somebody else. Sharp and unexpected, we've got double nines coming out. So someone on the other side, they may have had surgery or something before they passed. Um, it's something to do with babies as well and pregnancies and caesareans. Right, we have another energy here. Now we have the water sign. So you've got fire, earth and water in, in all of this reading here. And you have the five cups again. We've got another five there. <laughs> On the tarot, this is like sorrow and everything. And you don't realize there's something else you can have instead of going back to that water well that's dry. So you need to turn around and start something fresh instead of trying to make up with someone from the past or a situation that was in the past. Uh, but we have the the mother, the queen mother, the, the wife symbol, the everybody's friend, uh, the homebody. She's sitting central. Maybe this is how you want to be. You want to be like this. You do have something to do with a payout, but this is like superannuation. This is retirement. This is... Um, these, these numbers up here is all about this money. I'm just wondering where you're putting this money. Do you need more money in your health? And this is why I said about a doctor being down here and there's some sort of surgery or something that you're looking towards. It's not happening yet, but it's sitting here in this reading. Anyway, Aquariums, that's a lot more positive than uh, last week's uh, reading. So good luck with uh, the 21st of September and moving forward. I hope that everything turns out well for you. Just remember, sometimes um, if we're wanting someone to make up with us from the past or we're trying to retrieve something from the past, sometimes it's in the past for a reason because I just feel like you might be learning a lesson all over again. And if you are in conflict with this person, just as long as you talk your truth and you're talking from the heart and you're not trying to hurt someone with the truth, um, well, you just need to sort that all out. But it may be three of you all getting together. This is like uh, hen's night, baby showers, kitchen teas. It's like all getting together and planning stuff. And it, this could be an energy of working with women as well. It's a lot of work ahead, though. Anyway, that's Aquarian. Hello Pisces and welcome. So this is uh, September the 21st and on 2020. Let's see what you get for this week ahead. So this is your past or the past energy that you're bringing through. Nice. Okay, this is a change up. This is a new look for yourself Pisces. 
Um, you may be uh, catching up with someone from the past or you may be uh, making up with someone from the past, having a conversation or letting the guard down. Um, you have an idea for something for the future. For those of you looking for a job, this looks like you've got it. This is like a new start up here. So there's something nice there for you. Now, the energy overall for the week. Okay, we have, we have, that normally represents the divorce. If I had the four of spades sitting there, that normally represents the breakdown of either a relationship or a business. Now, we do have a heart card sitting here, so it could be about a relationship. Um, it also could be a business. Now, we have the energy of the air sign sitting in central. Now, it doesn't have to be a male, but this is all about telling the truth and getting things done and getting it done now. This up here is the busy woman, uh, everybody's friend. Now, as I said, this could be male or female. This could be male or female. So forget about the, the pictures on the cards. Um, so you've got an earth energy, earth sign energy here in the reading, and you've also got a um, air sign in the middle of the mix. Now, this also could be the lawyer, it can be the military, um, uh, the police, someone official, someone with that uniform on. Uh, there's something where maybe this is not you and they are going through a separation. Um, they may be breaking down a business as well, but there's something going on around that particular person. They're central in your world. Okay, over here, this is like a possible future sort of prediction or an energy that's coming through oh we've got the police or whatever sitting on a fine there so please don't speed we do have a car a police and a fine so do not speed do not use your phone while you're driving do not drink and drive um, something's going to come for you if you do it now, you also have the energy that shows me today you want to do something and you want to talk to somebody and you want to start something new. Tomorrow, you don't want to do it anymore. Then the next day, you want to do it again. Now, we have a water sign in here as well. We have a um, soulmate card sitting here at the bottom. Um, there may be something with this person's mind because this draws me up to their head. And they do have double aces. So we do have an energy coming through from the other side that may have had... Um, this male may have had uh, something wrong in his head, a tumour in his head before he passed. He may have also been someone that had bipolar, schizophrenia, um, acute anxiety, insomnia, some sort of mental disorder before he crossed. Uh, he's just letting you know he's around and he's sitting solid in the middle of your reading. Um it's shown me three different types of people here. You've got one that's happy-go-lucky, everybody's friend, sorting everybody out. Everybody wants this person around. Then you've got someone that's strict and wants everything done and they want it done yesterday. Then you've got somebody else who's all the caregiver. They're all caring about everybody. Now, you do have a change of job, change of house, change of relationship. There may be a new relationship coming in. So maybe... You're out there watching this and you've met this person and he's getting a divorce and it's final, it's done. Um, I don't know why you've got this upside down legal document. It could be something to do with the person that's crossed over. There may be some some sort of legal document that needs tidying up, death certificate, uh, inheritance, something like that. It does look like there's some money coming from this male's death. Um, yeah, like I said, he may have had a tumour or something before he passed. It looks like some sort of money's coming. So I don't know if you're going to sell up where you are and move or you're going to put that money into the house you're living in and change something. But yeah, there's some money on its way and it's from, I think it's either from someone's death. Um, but do be careful in your car and everything because you might end up with a fine as well. So let's just get a little bit more information before we move forward. The battle is over. No more talking to be done. Now, the person that's on the other side is coming through something to do with May or January or November, the 5th, the 10th, the 1st or the 11th. So take those numbers as you will. They might be trying to give you a message about that. But it shows me that you've had some sort of battle going into um, the week of the 21st. You're, you're wanting to leave all the sadness and love and stuff like that behind. You're wanting to leave all these negative energies behind, but you're still not re ready to let it go. 
and it's right on top of the guy in the uniform so um, you will you will get something I feel there's something new coming for you it's probably right in your face and you can't even see it you want to go on a journey it's just not happening yet now this may have something to do with COVID where you want to get on a plane you want to go overseas or you want to go interstate um, and it's just all restricted at the moment you can't get there but it also means about a car and it's sitting on top of a fine and it is upside down so please do not speed do not park in the wrong place um, don't take any risks here, guys, because this seven could be actually money that you've got to pay. I do feel the seven represents not only change for the future, things that you plan with your financial future and what you're going to do with some money, but it also can be about something you're holding on to from the past. It looks like it's a painful event that you're holding on to. And you're, for some reason, it's coming up on the 21st. There's something, maybe some news about this person or something happens and you get um, some information handed to you. Anyway, Pisces, that's it for um, September the 21st, 2020 and moving forward. Hello, all my lovely Aries people out there. This is a reading for past, present energies and a future sort of energy or an outcome type energy here for September the 21st and on. So let's see what we get this week. Okay, so past or current energies you're holding on to. We got a little baby girl there. Uh, it may be a message from the other side. Someone saying, hey, baby girl. Um, someone's trying to get a message out there. You've got good and bad surprises. The bad surprise is not as bad as the good surprise is good, if that makes sense. So you have a new beginning here. This is... Um, it's some sort of love situation, but I feel it's a female energy and a family type structured. Someone's finally learned a lesson or you've learned a lesson. This is something that you're learning from the past. And it couldn't be actual, actual schooling and lessons. This over here is news about it can be the pelvic area um, that there might be a slight illness, something that needs correction. If that's the case, this is showing me you'll go to the doctor, you'll, you might have a minor procedure or a medication, and then it's all back to square one. Everything's okay again. Uh, it also can mean that you've been worried and trying to get pregnant. This can be a, a fertility card that's not working at the moment and you get a bit of disappointment, but then you are pregnant and fertile and there's a baby girl there. So it's sort of a mix match here. With work, this is showing... Um, a little bit of work, but you're very passionate about what you're doing and you're trying to follow some dream. Also, what do we have? We have the Ace of Hearts, which is your head and your emotions and cups are overflowing. You're ready to start a new beginning. Uh, there is something to do with the internet Aries. There's something to do with chatter, jealousy or some sort of internet connection going on here or telephone connection between people. I don't feel this is a good thing to do. Um, I feel like this might bring you more grief than happiness. I also see with work that it's more and more and more. With a health scenario, this would represent medication and maybe it's it's causing something and you want to change. This is where you want to change and it's a forced change as well. If you're dealing with someone that you're looking after and they need medication, it could be representing something to do with their head. Um, you may need to force the situation to get things to change now if you're wanting movement and you want to move house move job move the people that you hang around it's not happening just yet this is showing me your frustrations are building and there's more information needed here this is where you're investigating things and trying to work out what's happening a possible outcome Okay, we do have a medical thing here. We also have someone that's passed over on the other side. I don't know if they're male or female, but something to do with March the 3rd or the 6th is in this reading. Uh, so they're coming through. We've got male and female coming through. This would be the father figure, the brother, the big brother, someone that looked out for you. This would be a woman who was very sharp when she was alive, if it's her coming through. She's just trying to let you know, stand your ground and get your... Get your views heard. Now, with work, it's showing me a lot of hard work, but not much payoff. It's like you're putting the energies in and you're thinking you're going to do three days a week work, but it's more like seven days a week work to only get a little payoff here. So it's sort of like you're trying to build something, but a lot of energy is going out, but not much is coming in. 
Uh, we also have in a relation type situation, relationship, it's showing a friendship and it can be showing a three-way situation, a third party situation going on here. And this might be what the news is where you're going, I knew it. It's it's not a big shock, like I said. So you're not sort of like, oh my God, is he or she really doing that? I can't believe this. This is like, I knew it. This is where you found the information and you knew that that's what it was. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm seeing there. So, excuse that, that was just someone coming in. You're trying to manifest a situation. There's something you've been waiting for. You're trying to make it happen. You're putting all your energies into it. Um, there's someone very knowledgeable out there that could help you as well. Now we do have a fire sign and a water sign in your reading. So I, I don't know if that helps you at all. And then here, building through the future, we got double sevens coming through. So the person on the other side, there might be more than one energy coming through from the other side, male and female. Seven or July means something and 14 means something to them as well. Uh, you're trying to build for the future, but you're tapping into future finances. And I, I don't know whether if it's a job or it's traveling to a job, uh, I feel like three's a crowd in this. So there might be three of you working at a certain place, a shop, let's say. One of them needs to go for this thing to work. There's not enough funds, what I'm looking at here. It's like where you're tapping into things and you're not sure whether... It, this does mean it will grow in the future. With a lot of hard efforts, it will grow. But is it a bit too slow to come through? And then the last card for you guys, for Aries, is the battle and standing your ground. Have your say. If someone needs to be gone, it needs to be talked about. They need to go. Um, if we're talking about a relationship and there's a three-way situation going on here, one person needs to step out of the mix or someone needs to talk about it. So I feel like you're manifesting this whole thing for yourself. You're trying to float with a little bit of information, but you need a lot more information to move forward. Um, we do have the good-hearted man that's usually trustworthy and faithful and helpful, but he's staring straight at this sex card over here. Um, and then we got the other female standing behind him, like she's chasing his tail. So there's he's in the middle of something. Um, but it can be a business thing, like I said, guys. It might not be anything personal at all. Hope that's clear as mud for Aries. But anyway, that's Aries. Thank you.